Thanks, Charlie. And Randy Bauman in the DVE Morning Show. And uh, all right, so we got the full house in here. And then a special guest, uh, you know, I, I called you Pittsburgh's uh, Abraham Sabruder because you have <laughs> the film footage that the whole town wanted to see after last Friday night on the South Side. Randy Jubak is here. And uh, is, that, is that how you say the name? Yes. Jubak? Okay. Yes. Randy, first of all, all right, jump right on the mic. All right. First of all, who was your boy? Who were you with that Joe, night? Joe Morrison. Jo Joel Morrison, and he's yeah. the guy. This is Joel right here. Yeah. All right, so you and Joel are out on the south side. What bar are you drinking at? We were actually at Mullins at first, which, You're is, which is actually all at the other end of the road down here. Okay, you were at Mullins. Is that where you started the night? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so you go down to Mullins, have a couple cocktails. Get in your groove on, and then you go to get a slice. Yes. Typical South Side agenda. Now, where, right do, you, where do you get a slice? Sola? Gino's, Sola, yeah. yeah. So you're, but did you go into Gino's, or were you in Sola that night? Um, I actually think it was the other, it was Sola. It was the one before him. Okay, so Sola. So we you, happened to be outside Gino's when it went down. Oh, okay. So, they get a slice from Sola. Both mm -hmm. of those places, a great place to get a Great. slice. You see this guy, and the rampage starts. Describe... What's going through your head is you see a guy whose car is dented up, banging into other cars on Carson Street, and you just had the impulse yes. to film. First thought in my head, as soon as I saw this, I said, oh my God, I can't believe this thing is on the road. I'm like, man, I got to get a picture of this. I'm like, Joel, Joel, look at this, you know? And I want him to look. And he's like, he's behind me stomping, stomping on his pizza and that. And, uh, <laughs> sure, sure enough, though, I get to my phone. I, by the time I go to take a picture, then it, it hit a car. It was going down Carson. It stopped. It backed up. And then it continued back out on the Carson. By that point, I had my camera on record. And I was like, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I'm going to get this. And that's why I thought I had 90% of it all on film. <laughs> <laughs> you, did. You, know? you said over and over, I got 90%. I was so excited because from the time I'd seen it sitting there, I got most of that footage. Now, how did you determine that 10% had already gone down? Because <laughs> it was it was smashed. Okay. And I knew I missed a little bit of that first footage of it hitting that first car that went down Carson. Okay. Because this one car hits it, it's not seen in my video. At any point, were you scared? Yeah, when he had, when he backed into that building, into a diesel, um, I was over there across the way on the sidewalk. I was trying to run back with him to keep with him. And as I was over there, he started pulling back out forward. And I didn't know if he was going to come straight across now this yeah. time or straight across or what. Because where so your vantage of, point is, it looks like he could have just shot straight across the street and crushed you. It looked like he was standing in front of the Rex yeah. when he's taking this footage, right? Yeah. The, the theater there, the Rex? Yes, that's yeah. about where you were. Okay. So that's when you got a little scared. Correct. I would have been, too. But yet, so I tried. I started to actually run back to the sidewalk. But then, as I knew he was going down the street, that's when I decided to run back out to the roadway. And I was trying to actually get his license plate, making sure I got that. Yeah. See, look, he's got the like the wear what's on patrol. This is a guy. Have you watched cops a lot? Yeah, in the past. Yeah, that's why he, <laughs> he knew what to do. So you go over there. Now you keep the you keep your camera rolling. All right. You keep your phone, you know, video in the whole scene there. And they drag the dude out. Yeah. I mean, are you thinking, oh, they're going to beat him to death? Yeah, I did think that. I did think they were starting to beat him up or something, you know, because the crowd kind of mobbed the Jeep. I'm like, they're going to pull this guy out of this car and actually give him one good one. <laughs> <laughs> but they just held him down, right? Pretty much. I mean, he didn't seem like the guy resisted a whole lot. He was pretty damn bent. I think he was drunk. Yeah. Excuse my language. Yeah, sorry. Oh, so, all right, so he's banged up. He's on the ground. He's got a knee in his back. Now, are you thinking at this point... Is this over, and where are the cops, or did the cops get there pretty quick? I didn't know, actually, because I was on the other side of that Jeep. I heard someone say, oh, these, there's a gun, and I heard that, and I'm like, you know, I didn't know who they were talking someone about. Someone said there's a gun? Yeah, if you listen, if you go back to that video, and you listen to that one little section right where he's, you know, on that first side of Jeep, you'll hear someone say that. And I guess they were talking about one of the guys that were there, to, you know, maybe it was an undercover. I don't know. Oh, yeah, so one of the guys, like, he pulled, out pulled him guy. out. He, he was pulling him out of the car, pulled out a gun, you know. Oof. I don't know, it's pretty wild. Even the news, KDK, they kind of highlighted it on one scene where the guy was like this with it, you know? So now, you hear the guy's got a gun. He's on the street. Why are you still there? Yeah, why are you still filming? Why aren't you and your boy <laughs> running down to get a couple more slices going, that was I had, crazy? I had to get the whole 90% out that I was getting. Because <laughs> <laughs> you'd only got 70% at that point. Yeah, maybe. Right. So, so you cut it off at one point, and then what, is it you're just trying to hightail it home to upload it to YouTube, or what's the process there? Yeah, um, I tried to stay with the whole video from the time that I started. From the time I saw that Jeep make that left, I, I kept it rolling until I was 
ready to leave. And didn't you go like around the corner to see if he had hit other cars before he came out on a car side? Yes, I went back down the side of Diesel where the alleyway where I seen him come out at, and I wanted to double check to see if he might hit something in that road or if there maybe someone hit there stranded by their cars mm -hmm. you know, in panic mode, but I didn't see nothing as I walked only a block down that. Did the cops ask you for the, for the footage? No, they have not, and um, I actually didn't speak with them that night. My one buddy actually was like, hey, you better get going before they hold you up here all night. You know, I was like, yeah, that's true, I want to get home. <laughs> now, is there any reason why you or your buddy wouldn't want to talk to the cops? Uh, no, nah, we were a little drunk, so maybe. No, nah, well, that's all right. Nah, we weren't hammered, so that's a good thing. We were like, we're some <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, buzz. Nice little buzz, yeah. Some pizza, you know. And, all right, okay, so... You've got this footage, and then you put it out the next day on YouTube. Did you do the graphics and stuff in the beginning? Yeah. GTA style? I was a little, I was a little fired up. I couldn't believe what I'd just seen and thinking about the road rage. And I was like, GTA, that reminds me of something out of the video game, you know? Because yeah. the guy's bouncing in the cur off the wall of the building, almost running people down and smashing into cars. It's like a video game. You know, it's like what I do when I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, you put that out. How soon was it before you realized you had a viral hit on your hand? I don't know. I went to bed that night wondering. I, I knew it was a pretty wild video, but I didn't know how far, how serious it would go, how people would react to it. But then the more and more as I've seen as the day went on, I've seen it was people were pretty amazed with it, you know, that I caught that little bit of footage of that guy going crazy down there. Like I have that. to tell you, had you only filmed 80% of it, <laughs> wouldn't have been good. Not it viral. Been good. Yeah, if I would have missed him hitting Diesel... No, that's the shot. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the, the shot. That's, that's, yeah. that's the holy bleep yeah. shot right there. Because yeah. the dude backs over that's another cool. lane of traffic. And the fact that there was nobody walking out in front of Diesel. That's amazing. And there normally is. It's just it's usually packed. So how what, did this what car time was that, by a, the way? How did this car come to a stop? Did he just run? Oh, he ran into that car. Yeah, it looks like the delay. Yeah, he gets wedged between blocked. a couple cars there at the end, and he rams that Buick. So I thought that was pretty crazy, but somebody's going through a rampage for people to just run up onto somebody's car and yank them out of there. I mean, that's pretty nuts. Like you said, that guy could have had a gun. I would have never done I would have been hightailing it the other way. What time was this again? Uh, it was a little bit after 2, about 2, maybe 2.15. So now, all right, you're 37? Yes. All right. Do you find it's hard to be a 37-year-old fella down on the south side these days? I don't know. I still feel kind of young, so I don't think so yet. You know? There you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's young at heart. Young at heart. Yeah. Well, you look like a young guy, so uh, Thank you. Thank right on. All right. Well, you and your, what was your boy's name? Joel. Joel's from? Joel, Joel Morrison. He's, uh, he's working at Bob's Auditorium right now. All right on. All right. And Joel, what part is he from? Did you say he's from, from uh, Lincoln Place, West Mifflin. Okay, West Mifflin, and you're from Duquesne. Yes. Right on. I was also with another guy. His name was Sidworth. He's like a friend of mine. He's a... Uh, Indian guy met up at the local convenience store. Wait, <laughs> hold on a second. He's, You're hanging out with an Indian dude you met at the convenience store? Yes, he was one of them So he was one of them guys that and he just called me up and said, Hey, what are you doing? I wanted to hang out with you. I'm like, I didn't want to I didn't really want to go out that night, but it was actually because of him I went out that night because he kept calling me and said, Hey, let's hang out. So had the convenience store dude not called you, the Indian guy, none of this would have been on tape. Exactly. It's pretty wild, huh? That's how I, things I work. Sid a mighty thank you there. What his name's Sid? <laughs> yeah. What's his full name? I just know Sidworth, uh, I think Hewitt or Hewitt, okay. something like that. Oh, well, cool. His last name. All right, Sidworth, way to go. All right, man. Well, where do you typically go on the south side? Where's your haunt? What's a What's a good night out for you and Sid and, and your West Mifflin crew? Just down there on that main Carson Street, there's enough action to see. You know, you got your whole choice. So we walked down the street just like that night. We were, should we go in there? I usually go where it's not as packed because I hate being butt to butt with everybody. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of places where it's butt to butt, yeah. no you doubt. Thirty thousand views. That's pretty of cool. your video. Yeah. Dude, thirty thousand. Pretty, that, pretty awesome in two days, I guess. You know, that's, that's like pretty filling pretty up the Consol Energy Center twice. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Well, all right, uh, Randy, it's a pleasure to meet you, man, and uh, thanks for coming. You yeah, know, we were, we were going to call you, and uh, you showed up, and that's even better. So we get to meet you in person. I actually passed the building, went straight down, and said, dang, I missed the wrong exit. And all the way down, I got stuck in all this traffic. I was starting to think there was a 90% chance I wasn't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're running on that one. Randy, thanks so much. Thanks to our reports line of the Columbus Dispatch, Mike Lang, Sean Casey, and Seth Warbaugh.